And welcome back. The New York City Health and Hospitals recently announced a new initiative to encourage students, trainees, and physicians from groups underrepresented in medicine to join the system's medical workforce. The new Physician Diversity Initiative will work with students ranging from middle school through graduate medical education, as well as attending physicians to increase diversity in medicine. Here now to share more information is New York City Health and Hospital Senior Vice President and Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Michelle Allen, and then also the Senior Director of Quality and Safety, Marley Ikowitz. And we thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having us. And so when we talk about these opportunities, there are some opportunities for uh, people who are aspiring here. And so uh, if you will, Dr. Michelle, give us a little bit. Well, let me start with four things that we're trying to address. One, we recognize that health comes overall are better for our patients when their providers come from similar backgrounds, speak the similar language, have the same race, ethnicity, and kind of a cultural background. That's the same, and it works both ways. The patients feel more comfortable and relatable, and we as physicians have a better ability to relate to our patients if we have some degree of commonality. We also know that here at h, &H there is a disparity, there's a difference between what our patients look like and what we look like. And the percentage of Black and Latino patients at h, &H is actually twice the percentage of Black and Latino providers. We also recognize that within our communities where our patients come from, they're actually young people, students who would love to enter the healthcare professions, but haven't quite been given the opportunity, the support, or the mentorship that would allow them to realize their dreams. And through Mosaic, we're planning on developing those pathways to see those aspiring youngsters who will eventually become our physicians and work for us here in h, h to take care of their aunties, their grandparents, their extended families within the neighborhood. So that's our aspiration, Darren. And Marley, you're the Senior Director of Quality and Safety for uh, the New York City Health and Hospitals. A little bit about your work and uh, how you fit in all of this. Sure. Um, so my work at Health and Hospitals is to develop programs um, that teach our frontline staff how to improve quality and, um, of care on the front lines and some leadership skills. And I was brought into the Mosaic program about a year ago to help build out some of our programs for um, young people, students, medical students, and residents who are um, interested in going into careers as physicians, who are on the training journey, and using some of the um, frameworks that we developed from those quality programs and bringing them into Mosaic and developing programs specifically for people who are underrepresented in medicine. Um, to help them along their career journey and to get them excited about potentially coming to health and hospitals one day. And for somebody who wants to come into health and hospitals, give us a little bit about the work there and what makes this a great environment? Our patients make it a great environment. We're in the public sector. We take care of patients that ne may not necessarily have any alternatives. They're the bodega keeper, the teacher, the dancer, the artist who's, you know, on managed, Medicaid managed care, people from the community. And when you leave at the end of the day, you know you made a difference in someone's life. And there's a community here. So I've been in H&H &H for a couple of days, probably like 40 years. Um, and it's just continually rewarding. Among the coworkers, there's a spree de corps whether it's our trauma surgeons, our pediatricians, our obstetricians, our primary care providers, our patients come from our communities. We work a little bit harder, we get paid a little bit less, but we love pushing that stretcher. We love doing our own blood draws. We, it's, it's with a cause, it's with ambition, and we're greatly appreciated. And we have fun doing what we do as well. And Marley, for you, what have you gained the most uh, from your experience? Well, I think, you know, my um, value system is really aligned with the mission of health and hospitals. I believe in providing the best quality of care to everyone. And it is really a joy to do this work. I've been here almost seven years and to have the last few years be working on increasing our diversity um, of our physician workforce 
it's been tremendously meaningful. So I'm, you know, I think that's my, um, that's what's brought me here every day and what makes me feel really proud to work here. And I have to just interject, Erin, that Marley is part of the division that we actually do training and education. So it just falls right in. We have residents, we have medical students, we have fellows. And part of our mission is not just taking care of our patients, but passing the torch along and making sure that the next generation see the value of working in the public institution as, as such as ours in the public system. So it's not just taking care of patients, it's training, it's educating, and it's passing along the mission. Yeah, Dr. Allen, you were kind of hitting on what I was going to, I was going to speak to, because when I, when I think about exposure, I think that, you know, having the exposure sometimes makes all the difference in the world. It absolutely does. And I can remember being a young high school student myself and a friend's, my best friend's mother worked in a lab at Albert Einstein. And in her genius, knowing that I liked math and science, reached out to her employer, who was a scientist uh, who had a lab up at Einstein, and asked if I could spend some time in his lab. And from there, I think the rest is history. Um, being exposed to what it's like in the lab and then being exposed to what it's like on the clinical services. It's that exposure, it's mentorship, it's someone taking an interest in you and feeding you. A lot of the students, so we have affiliations with Morehouse, University of Puerto Rico and CUNY. And you look where their students come from. There's a significant percentage of our students come from New York City. About 20% 20, 20 of the incoming students at CUNY come from the Bronx, which is your neighborhood. To give them the opportunity to spend some time on the units, whether it's in the endo, endo suite, doing colonoscopies, or in the emergency room, or in labor and delivery, there's an excitement in healthcare that we hope to share with these young students. It's the exposure that gives them the engagement and the excitement and hopefully the confidence that they too can take the MCATs, pass the MCATs, come to medical school and do well. Well, I want to thank you both for being with us and sharing a little bit. Uh, I think it's a great opportunity for, as we said, the key word was exposure, right? And I think Marley's taking uh, full advantage of the exposure that's being given. And uh, Dr. Allen, for the leadership that you're providing, thank you so much for being with us and uh, sharing with us here on Open. We want to see some of your students come join us. Hey, listen, I'll be glad to send as many as I can your way. Trust me, I think uh, it's a great health field to work in and uh, really the exposure and having more people in it, we need it, especially at a time like this. So no problem on my part. What I can do, I'll Thank do. <laughs> Take Thank care. You. All right. Listen, our viewers, if you want more information, visit the website, nychealthandhospitals.org, and uh, there you can find out more. And go ahead and sign up. Don't go anywhere. we got more open coming up right after this.